Hey everyone, we're doing another tea review. This one is a little something different. This is gonna be Yapan. Um, this was sent to me by a friend of mine and it's one of the only Native American roots or plants that has caffeine in it. So it's technically not tea. Um, we're making a tea out of it nonetheless, but it is not a black tea or green tea or white tea as we, as we traditionally try out, or even herbal. Um, it's, I know that the uh, Yapan plant can be found in uh, North America, uh, Texas for sure, um, Florida, where I'm at. Uh, we definitely have some here. Um, and it was commonly enough drank by Native Americans. Um, it has a, a quite a few medical benefits about it. Um, it. It is supposed to lower your blood pressure, which is nice, uh, prevent tooth decay. Those are two of the two of the main things. Also, the, the other bonus of it is it has a compound called theobromine, theobromine. Um, I may be saying it wrong. I'm sure someone will correct me in the comments if I am. And that's one of the compounds found in chocolate, and it, of course, it gives you the, the good feelings, uh, making you feel kind of kind of happy and elevated in your mood after you've uh, you've had some chocolate. And it's also in this tea. Now, this tea that I got is a dark roast, so. It came up pretty dark when it, when it's, uh, once it's brewed. Kind of, kind of looks like a black tea. Um, similar even in smell to a, a black tea, but there is something distinctly different about it. So um, there's light roast and dark roast. This is the dark roast. I tried the light roast earlier off camera. And they taste vaguely similar to me. Honestly, I'm not. I'm, this is only the second time I've had it, and I'm not super familiar with it, so I can't. Can't really compare some of the finite points and the little nuances. It's just um, it's right now. It's it's a new experience for me. Mm. Tasting it, it's earthy, um, very very earthy. It tastes uh, bark, <laughs> reminiscent of trees. Something you might have at a um, at a new age health spa or something like that. It's uh, it's good. I I like drinking it enough. It won't replace regular, you know, teas for me, but um, but you know there may be some medical benefits that would really kind of push you over the edge. And by all means, if you have some way of drinking it and, and trying it out, and something you've done with it that makes it really you know, enjoyable, I'd love to hear about it. Um, this one, it's pretty good. I I overall I kind of like it. Um, in researching, I found out one interesting thing. As I said, the plant does grow in North America, and it has some kind of little berries on there. And although the leaves are edible and obviously are non-toxic, the berries themselves, they are toxic. So don't, don't eat the berries. Uh, if you've got some in your, in your neighborhood or in your, in your house, something like that, don't eat the berries. They're not good for you. Um, but 1 to 10, it's not amazing. It definitely tastes a little bit, mm, a little more medicinal to me. Um, I'm going to put it as for enjoyable tea that you're drinking, mm. put it at five. It's not great, it's not bad, it's right there in the middle. Um, it tastes fine, I put some sweetener in there, as always, a little bit stevia, and I like it. But would I buy it again? I would. Would I drink it really regularly? I don't think so. It would have to be a very occasional kind of thing. As I said, this, the earthy flavor about it may be something that maybe on a really cold day you want to drink it. Um, feeling kind of down, well, heck yeah, I try it. Um, but as for just, you know, if I'm looking for like a really good, satisfying tea flavor, something that's gonna really hit my palate well, this one's not it. So one to 10, put it at a five, like it enough. That's called Yapan. Uh, we got this one from, let's see, Lost Pine Yapan Tea. Um, I don't know much more about them than what you see here. And a buddy of mine happened to send me, uh, send me the sample of it. And I like it enough. I recommend you give it a try and see for yourself. It's um, you won't be disappointed. Maybe you'll maybe it'll really hit your palate and be something you love. So at any rate, please like us and share and uh, come back more for more of you soon. Thank you.